Hello and welcome to my brand new channel. I'm about three weeks, I think, and two days in. So first thing I want to say is thank you all for subscribing. And thank you to the new subscribers uh, that subscribed since the last video. Welcome. Um, this is going to be a general twin flame soulmate reading for the air sign Aquarius and uh, it may not resonate with everyone because this is a general reading for the collective um, we're going to be finding out what's the current situation you or uh, your person is in what are their thoughts towards you how are they feeling towards you what's blocking or challenging them what actions are they going to take and then the outcome will be the bottom card i'm going to be using uh two a total of three oracles but uh Two will be for the energy, the um, Oracle of the Unicorns card, and then also I'll be using Romance Angels and Crystal Mandala Oracle at the end for advice or message from Spirit. And I'll be using the Gilded Tarot cards and the Celtic Tarot to clarify um, if uh, anything needs to be clarified. I'm just going to take this watch off my hand. It's bothers me when I do it when I'm shuffling cards. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, when I refer to divine feminine or divine masculine, I am referring to energies, not a specific gender. So you can be uh, divine masculine and uh, female at the same time. Okay, so let's go forward and let's see what that general energy for the sign of Aquarius from May 29th to June 24th. Uh, 2019 and one more thing I want to say is if you get this reading and it's outside of that time and it really resonates with you that means that it was for you to hear at that time that spirit wanted you to hear it so all the readings I do are meant to be timeless okay so let's see what the energy of the Aquarius is at the moment and we have expansion Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Okay, so what I'm feeling that is the Aquarius is feeling really good and a very good energy may be expanding uh, through work, could be expanding through relationships, but um, in general, um, we're going through growth. Sorry, I just gotta get a little sip of water. Okay, so we'll see why um, this is here. So hopefully you can see that. Okay. Um, all right. Put that on the bottom. Now let's get a message from the Romance Angels. I'm going to get a message for... Aquarius this month for the period of May 29th through June 14th. Okay, and we have forgive and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So some of you guys might be um, been in a situation with another person that caused you to, you know, have some pain and you're learning how to forgive them and you're going forward. And that could be also why you are um, expanding here because you're expanding your uh, spiritual growth, um, knowledge and just learning that. You know, everything that people do is not necessarily um, a reflection of you. Um, it's a reflection of themselves and them needing to heal. This also could be um, someone wanting forgiveness and they've learned from a situation. So we'll, we'll see in a moment um, exactly why that's here. Okay, let's turn that, put that there. And let's get started with the main part of the reading. So let's see what the current situation your per your person is in. 
And then what are your thoughts there? What are their thoughts towards you? What are they feeling towards you? What's blocking or challenging them? What action they're going to take? And the outcome will be the bottom card. So I'm going to go in that order. Okay. Current situation you or your person is in is the Eight of Wands. Okay. So the Eight of Wands is about taking action. It's about communication uh, coming in. So you um, or this person, when I mention this whole reading, it could be you or it could be the other person. But um, this situation right now is someone is currently taking action and they're in that, that mode of, you know, getting things done and it could possibly be in communication with someone or communication is coming in. thoughts towards you. Their thoughts towards you is the death card. Okay, so the death card is about transformation. And it doesn't, um, people get scared of this card. I, I get scared of it too sometimes. <laughs> but it's um, not um, all bad. It just depends on, you know, what's going on around it. And for right now, this could be, since it is kind of under the forgiven learning, I'm thinking it has to do with transformation. So this person is seeing things from a different perspective. This could be uh, them expanding and expanding their knowledge and their growth. But there, there's a transformation in their thoughts towards you. How are they feeling towards you? Page of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords is about communication. Um, it can be about spying, uh, investigating. It could be uh, delayed news. And with this... Um, Eight of uh, Wands here and this Page of Swords, I feel like the current situation is the person is wanting to communicate with you. And the Page of Swords or the Suit of Swords in general is about truth, uh, communication. And this person is wanting to um, communicate or they already are in communication with you. I'm feeling there's where the transformation is coming so you might not have been in communication uh, with this person and now they're wanting to communicate or now you are communicate com wanting to communicate and that's where I feel like some of this transformation um, has taken place okay so what's blocking or challenging them Nine of Swords. Okay, so Nine of Swords is about despair. It's about the nonstop thinking of a situation or a person. Um, you know, can't get it, can't get it out their mind. Losing sleep. So, was blocking or challenging? Is something is keeping them up at night? Maybe it's something that they did. Um, they're wondering if you're gonna forgive um, them for whatever they they've done, but. Whatever it is that's blocking them is keeping them up at night. So what action are they going to take towards you? And then, you know, the bottom card will be the outcome. Okay, two of cups. So the action they're going to take to you um, is they, I'm seeing that they see you as their soulmate. Um, I'm not sure if this is a twin flame connection, but it's at least a soulmate connection. 
and they see the action they're going to take towards you is um, they want to come forward towards you face to face. That's what I'm seeing and they want to communicate and try to work this out um, uh, figure out how to move forward how to you know expand expansion and um, I'm going to clarify these cards but let's see what's going on at the bottom. Okay tower Okay, so this person is having a major, you or them are having a major tower moment. And you got the death card here too. So this could be um, someone as well that I'm picking up that could be um, trying to get past a very hard situation. And they may be um, in the process of forgiving and learning for whoever did what to who the other person did, but it's the reason why it's keeping them up at night. Um, they may not have, uh, be able to, um, get past this. I'm not sure because the uh, death card and this two of cups is under the forgiving learning. Um, but they're going through some major transformation with this tower card here. So let's clarify what's going on to see if this is something that is um, fixable or if this is something a little more serious. Let me take this card off of here. Yeah, it's under it. This You got the hermit here. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Also, you could be dealing with uh, like a Scorpio if I mentioned that before. Um, the, the hermit is about going within wisdom um, knowledge wanting to be alone needing to take a time out so let's see why this um these cards are here okay please clarify the eight of wands in the current situation why is that eight of wands here Okay, the three of caldrones. Okay, so the current situation is, um, this seems like this has to do maybe with a third party situation because you have the three of cups here. Um, a karmic, it could be karmic, it, um, it could be a person or it could be a situation. It could be work, it could be an addiction, but someone is wanting to communicate the end of a, a third party situation. So that's what I'm getting. And uh, maybe that's the reason why the forgiven learning is here. But uh, three of caldrones is what it's called in this deck. And it's about, you know, celebrating um, reunion. And so uh, this could be a twin flame connection with the three of cups here and the two of cups here. So let's see why the um, death card is here and their thoughts. Yeah, I'm picking up this person wants to um, reunite. They want to communicate. That's why these cards here, and that's why the Tower and the Death card is major transformation has happened in their life. So I think it's the end of one situation and the beginning of another. The ending of their false beliefs, like their inner, their truth. Okay. So let's see. Let's clarify the Death card and their thoughts towards you. Rebirth, yeah, judgment has taken place. So there's an end of a karmic situation. Um, that's why judgment is here to clear out all past karma and bring in the new. You know, um, as you see, like this, in this card, it's called rebirth. It's the judgment card. You see a little baby there. That is, um, you know, being reborn after going through a traumatic period. So this person whatever um, happened in the past has realized whatever took place was not necessarily true or they realized it wasn't the truth and now they're they're wanting to be in the truth i feel like that's why the um 
Page of Swords is here. And then the Eight of Wands for the communication. They want to communicate, you know, what's taking place. And uh, let's see, clarify the Page of Swords is how they're thinking, how they're feeling towards you. Yeah, there you go. The Knight of Caldrones, which is the Knight of Cups in this card. Um, they're wanting to... Uh, bring you a love offer, um, a love proposal. And they're hoping that you have, um, you'll forgive them because they've learned, they've gone through a major trans uh, transformation and they were believing, um, you know, false things here about you or this relationship. And now they're in, they're in the truth. They're realizing that, you know, you're their, um, their true love, um, their soulmate, and possibly um, twin flame uh, connection. Yeah, I feel like this is a twin flame connection because you got the rebirth, three of cups, and the two of cups here. So they're wanting to make a, um, a love offer. Um, this might be delayed because of the page of swords here. is is about news, but it also can be about news being delayed. So there might be... Um, be a delay of them showing their feelings towards you but they are going to do it okay so let's see why the nine of swords is here and what's currently challenging them blocking or challenging them um what's blocking or challenging them is equilibrium which is temperance so you could be dealing with uh, sagittarius as well um it's um balance action and emotion so they're trying to figure out here how to make this situation right that's what's going on they're trying to figure out how to come forward with their emotions and you know how to balance it because some of them might feel they only have one chance and it's, it's keeping them up at night so they're needing to make sure when they come forward, um, they do this situation um, right. Okay, and let's see why the Two of Cups is here and what action they're going to take towards their true love. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is about waiting. So they're waiting for some reason. They're waiting. Maybe they're waiting because of the of temperance to figure out how they can balance the situation. They're waiting to come forward. That's the action they're going to take. Um, Three of Wands can be about moving forward. But I'm feeling this person is waiting because they're still maybe for, you know, forgiving and learning, forgiving themselves or hoping you get forgiveness but they're waiting to come forward possibly because um they're going through uh, a tower moment you know false beliefs and uh clearing out uh the karma that you have here sorry it's hard for me to mess up all these cards with grabbing these nails so then they're waiting to clear out the karma so they've already done it or they're in the process of doing it but that's why they haven't come forward yet is they're, they're um, waiting to approach you with this Knight of Cups um, because they are needing to clear out um, the old karma of a third uh, party a karmic situation. So, okay, and so in the bottom card here, yep. So you got the tower here, the chariot. There, there's nothing is stopping the chariot. The chariot is going forward, okay? So you could also be dealing with a cancer um, as the chariot is uh, for the sign of cancer, but you have this going forward, like this situation is going forward with the, um, with the tower. Nothing is stopping that. So it might take some time, you know, like I said, to get it, but this 
situation or this person or you is definitely going forward. They are expanding, but they're in a uh, forgiving and learning process. Um, trying to balance this with the um, equilibrium, um, which is temperance, but they are going to be going forward. Yeah, so they might be like, they're really contemplating. I feel like this is why they're being, um, the Nine of Swords is down here. They're really trying to figure out how to get all of this in line, but they are dealing with a lot of stuff right now, so they're unable to just come forward. You are this person. All right, so let me see what's on the bottom of the Romance Angel, just see if anything. Um, so religious factors are involved. Um, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So for some of you, it could be um, some factors of how you were brought up, how you think a commitment or a relationship should be. So you struggling with that. And then for the other of you, you being guided spiritually to go towards this connection which I feel like that's what it is because this is um I feel is a twin flame um, connection here so this is um in line with the things that I've been saying and then let's see what's on the bottom of this deck strength yep so this challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. So yeah, this person is going through um, some major transformation and healing. So they are needing a little bit of time. Um, so uh, if this is you or the other person, um, they are needing you to be patient with them because they're going through major, major transformations with the death card here and the tower card and rebirth old uh, karma is being cleared out making way for new new stuff okay so let's get um an advice or message from spirit for your sign aquarius okay i think that card wants oh it went away i have to do i thought it was wanting to come out Okay, and we have number 29, Ascendant, Master, Quan, Yin, and Pearl, Divine, Rebel, and the number is 333, that could be significant. Okay, so I'm going to look this up in the book while I um, read this to you. Okay. 29 Ascended Master Quan Yin and Pearl, Divine Rebel. We bring you the blessing of Divine Rebel. Divine Rebels shake things up, which is why the tower is there. Create a divine disturbance and refuse to play by the rules. They do this because they love divine love. They know there is nothing as powerful as the unconditional love of the divine it will have its way in the world in the hearts of all living beings it will not be tamed controlled restricted or denied if there is a rule that gets in the way of that love then the divine rebel will find another way so that love can have its way the divine rebel is in you it's not meant to do things the way others say you should some people may be frustrated with you because they won't know why you have to stand up and speak your truth. That's okay. Divine rebels are not always understood, but they are respected by those who are ready to make love more important than fear and who are willing to contribute constructively towards healing the world. Okay, so yeah, this message is telling you that um, nothing is going to get in way of love. Nothing is getting in the way of um, let me show you this card. Nothing is getting in the way of true love. And if that means that all karmic things need to be cleared out, that's what's going to happen. Spirit is helping you. They're behind you, backing you up. And nothing is stopping it. See, you've got the tower card here, the cherry going forward. Nothing is stopping this connection. No matter what kind of obstacles get thrown in the way, it's going to happen. 
So um, that is pretty much um, your message, Aquarius, for the month. I'm going to look by, behind at the bottom here. You've got Angel. I don't know if how to say that right. Bethiel and Rose Quartz. Heart Healing. 444 is the number. And number 16 could be significant to you. And that's where you got the forgiving and learning here. So someone's heart is healing or it has healed. So I'm not going to uh, read the message from that one because uh, it's long. But you get the basic uh, meaning of what I'm saying. So I hope that if this resonated with you, um, you'll like, subscribe, or share. Also to get um, notifications of my latest video, click on that little bell to the right uh, down below. And uh, I thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. And I'm just so excited. In this three weeks, I've reached um, a little over 100 subscribers. And I didn't even think, you know, I was going to get to 20. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited about that. So you guys have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time or next video, peace, love, and light.